What's up dudes? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Chloe and this is Coverly Chaos where I am a full-time college student and a full-time reseller. We are surviving, thriving, and sometimes diving. Today, oh, I think honestly I have to say we're diving. Unfortunately, I think that's the first time I've said that. Uh, mainly the reason is that booster shot kicked my booty hole real bad real bad um so i got it on monday and yesterday oh don't even yeah yesterday was rough um i slept like half the day i did get a lot of work done which was good and odd i seem to do more work when i'm sick i don't know why that's so maybe i like i'm trying to distract myself i don't know um but anyways yeah and then today today i'm feeling a little bit better but i'm still like mm, and my arm hurts <laughs> and I'm just like I've got the sniffles like it made me a little sick honestly um so I didn't really want to get the booster shot um just because all the other ones have made me super sick um but yeah I had to get it for school so it is what it is I got it and yeah we're boosted um okay today is partly my update video for the hashtag 50 by Friday challenge and a what sold video because I figured I had a little extra time today um so I'm gonna yeah. Huh, excuse me um tell you what sewed from monday night to this morning actually i've made no sales today so far so i guess yesterday so monday night like the second half of monday after i did my shipping into tuesday um yeah that sounds right um mostly sales were yesterday actually no that's not true i lied that's not true okay well anyways you get the gist so i have them separated i've got all my items pulled so, uh, um, we are gonna, we gonna do this thing. Monday to today, my sales, my revenue has been $465.59, and my profit after cost of goods fees and all that has been $333.51. That's pretty swag. Um, I'm pretty sick about, that's pretty sick. I'm pretty excited about that because it's pretty sick. Um, my number of sold items has been 18, but... <sighs> excuse you um my average sale price has been $25.87 which is down 14% from the two days prior in case anyone cared um not that you did um and to be quite honest wow look at y'all I have to show you this I can't turn the camera dang it but you can see look at that's like literally split it is split that's really funny um yesterday when I looked eBay was leading but it looks like somehow Poshmark caught up so it's literally like almost exactly split. So for my revenue on Poshmark is 48%, eBay's 46%, and an undisclosed uh, platform that I'm not gonna talk about is 5.8%, uh, pretty swag. Um, so yeah, almost exactly split. And my average sale price was right around the same for all of them. And I sold eight things on eBay, one on the undisclosed and nine on Poshmark. So yeah, and then as far as brands, um, I've sold two Fabletics, two J. Crew, two Victoria's Secret. Again, this isn't a weekly. This is like the last like day and a half. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty good. Um, honestly, I sales have been really slow. So I mean, I feel like that's normal for January. Usually, it picks up around March and April. I feel like. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna do it. Sorry for my sniffles. Uh, um, okay, so I will tell you what the item sold for and what I made, what I bought it for, if I remember. Um, because I don't have all my numbers in front of me right now, so, yeah. Okay, first up is this. In case anyone is wondering how I do this, what I do is I print out my labels at home, actually. I used to do it at my storage unit, but as y'all know, I've talked about it many a time, my roller printer is, like, the, is, like, more high maintenance than my dog. And if you know me and you know my dog, like, that's saying something. Um, so, mm, she's, like, more moody than Nikki. Um, so, she started working at my apartment, and we're just not going to touch her. We're going to leave her there. And we're gonna do it. So I print out, <clears throat> I print out my labels, coffee, um, at home, and I just write on the back what it is, and then I separate them into what type of like packaging it goes in. Like I have the big eBay ones, I have the little eBay ones, I've got the Tyvek, and then I've got the pretty one for the undisclosed platform. Um, so yeah, that's that. All right. So first up is this men's Dre Crew shirt. I seriously do not sell men's like ever. And this randomly, someone sent me an offer on eBay and I was like, all right, take it. Um, I got this for free. That's why I'm selling it. Someone just gave it to me and I was like, yeah, I guess I'll sell it. Um, it was a while ago though. I listed this a long, a hot minute ago, at least like six months. Um, okay. This sold on eBay. Someone sent me an offer of $15.50 after shipping and all that stuff, $23.49. So I think I made around like $17 for this after fees and everything. 
again it was free so i'll take it but yeah um this is really gonna be like a life update too and that's what i do y'all like this ship with me so i'm like okay i'll keep doing it um um they get good views so when we're trying to grow this channel y'all know hit that like button hit that subscribe button share with your friends so oh, next up i sold this eye clicker this was mine um if you if you've ever been a college student in the new age, these are like deaf. Um, so that's how like most professors will track your attendance, like if they want your participation, and it's like a participation grade in the big lectures, that's how they track attendance. But obviously, with Zoom happening, we didn't do that. So you can't have eye clickers. Um, so basically what I've decided, I, I had two because someone, a senior like two years ago gave me hers and was just like, I don't care, do what you want with it. And I was like, all right. So I have two now, um, but I don't use it anymore. And I'm graduating in the spring. There's a little Poshmark, which is not what I was expecting. I was expecting it to sell on eBay, but since Poshmark launched its like electronics thing, and then it also was like encouraging people to listen to electronics, I was like, all right, I'll cross list it, whatever. So it sold on Poshmark. Someone sent me an offer of $19. I took it. So I made like 15 bucks on this. I thought that was pretty funny. I was like, when someone sent me that offer, I was like, okay. Um, I don't know what you're doing on Poshmark shopping for an eye clicker, but live your best life, sis. I love that for you. Um, and she, oh, she probably goes to UC Berkeley because she's from Berkeley, California. So she probably goes to UCB. Good for you, sis. Good for you. Best of luck in your UCB journey. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was so weird because I've sold, I had two eye clickers. I sold the first one on eBay already. Um, so yeah. Okay. Next up, I was pretty excited about this sale. Um, so in case you were wondering, because somebody asked me last time, like why I take it out of the bag. So some things I don't take out of the bag. Most actually Poshmark sales, I leave in the plastic. eBay, I don't because I like to shove them in the smaller one because um, it weighs less um, and I have them. So why not? So that's why if you see me take it out of the bag, that's why. Um, okay, next up. I showed this actually in a recent haul that probably isn't even out yet on YouTube. I got this pretty dang recently. Um, is this Trina Turk sweater? I thought it was so cute sweater top. It's like a running top. So it's Trina Turk recreation. I thought it was really cute. I haven't had luck with Trina Turk in the past. Like my dresses do not sell. They sit forever and ever and ever. And I just pulled them all to send a thread up. The real world won't take them. Um, so I was like, okay, whatever. I'll buy it. Cause I thought it was cool. And it was pretty cheap. I think I paid like $2 for it. Um, and it sold for, someone sent me an offer of $20 on eBay. And I was like, nah, okay. Um, after shipping and like fees and all that, I made like $22. Um, they pay for shipping, obviously. So yeah, I made like 22 after my cost of goods. I made like 20 bucks. Thought that was pretty swag. Uh, um, so Trini Truck Recreation. That's, you know, good bread and butter brand. If you happen to find that like at a garage sale or something, 10 out of 10 recommend. So yeah, what was I talking about? I don't remember. My brain is like not here today. <laughs> oh, that y'all like like the what solds of just the chattiness. I don't know why. Make it make sense. I don't know. But I'm gonna not not complain about it. Um, oh, this was so weird. So I sold two Fabletics things like back to back. And when I say back to back, I mean within like two minutes of each other. I got two different offers. I thought they were the same person. Turns out they were not. So the first one, this was yesterday, I think. Yeah, this was yesterday. Someone sent me an offer on this Fabletics top. Someone sent me an offer of $15. And I was like, okay, sure. I got this when I bought out Jen's inventory from Jenemy. Um, and my cost of it came out to like a buck 68. So I paid like a buck 68 for this. And then that's not the right thing. That is not what I was doing for Chloe. Uh, it's a Fabletics bra. Oh, here it is. Um, so this one sold for, yeah, someone sent me an offer of 15. And not like minutes later, Someone sent me an offer on this Fabletics one for $14.01. And so after shipping, it came out to 20 bucks. And they're like, both Fabletics, both workout tops, like sports bra. I don't know. It was the weirdest thing to me. I was like, what? And I just assumed they're from the same person if they sent the offer at the same time. And I was just going to invoice them, right, for each one. But nope. Turns out, uh, yeah, they were different people. I don't know if they just, maybe they like have a voodoo wavelength with each other. I don't know. I don't understand it, but I made money off of it. So yeah, those both came from Jen. So they both were like a buck fifty. So on this one, the loose purple tank, I probably made around it was really cheap to ship. So I probably made around like seventeen dollars, um, which was pretty swag. Yeah, this was cheap because it's going to Woodland Hills, California, which is like pretty sure that's only like an hour and a half north of me. So <laughs> that would be why. Um it was super cheap. I think this one cost a little bit more. Um, yeah, because it's going to St. Louis, Missouri. Missouri. Maybe they're your neighbor, Glamour. Maybe. Um, <laughs> so on this one, I made, they they offered me a dollar, actually 99 cents less. How dare they? Um, 
actually it's probably a cheaper top on fabletics.com so it makes sense um <laughs> they sent me this has probably been listed for like a year when did i buy it jen's inventory yeah i bought her inventory like last january i think so yeah it's probably been listed like a year um which is definitely longer than i like <laughs> but hey they sold on the same day i'm not gonna question it so i made probably like 16 dollars on this one so 30 bucks on fabletics within two minutes that was super exciting that was fun and weird all at the same time okay i think that was all my mini ones right nope this one okay next up is this kalia oh i'll let you know if something was from the 50 by friday challenge so i think all of i think i was getting like super mega offers on ebay because i'm listing so much um that's usually what happens i feel like poshmark is a super delayed effect sorry for the poshmark's a super delayed effect but ebay is not um real quick these are kalia leggings this is the kalia logo in case you don't know um these are a pair of black leggings and they feel new they're full length just black basic i really like this brand it's a really good bread and butter brand um, I picked these up a couple months ago at Dollar Days. So someone sent me an offer of $20 on them after shipping and fees and all that. I think I made around $24 because they paid for shipping. Um, and yeah, I got these for a buck. So that was pretty swag as well. If you're going to Florida, in case you were wondering, I don't know, maybe you were, maybe you weren't. Well, I told you anyway. Um, but yeah, so anyways, yeah, eBay is like a, like, I feel like I list a ton the day before and I get offers the day, the next day or the day of even. Whereas like Poshmark is a really delayed effect. I feel like it takes like a week or two after like listing like crazy to see those sales happen. So interesting thing, in case you're wondering, that's just my experience. I don't like, that's not, don't, that's not Bible. I don't know that for a fact. I just know that that's been my experience in the matter. Okay. These are all Poshmark. Okay. Let's move on to Poshmark. Let me switch my tabs. Okay, first up, uh, we're gonna do that one last because that was a special sale. Um, okay, first up was this. I bought this top for myself at Dollar Days and I didn't end up liking it on me. Oh, I don't take these out from my nose. Um, this is just like a Bershka top. It's literally just a long sleeve, sweetheart neck, like basic top. Bershka is a brand that's like, it's kind of like H&M. It's like a boutique brand, overseas brand. I think it's Japanese. Um, they, they have a following. It's not like they don't have a following, but I would not have probably picked this up to sell myself just cause it was like a basic maroon top but I ended up not want, I lied, I didn't pick this up. Someone gave this to me. Yeah, I got this from a like Facebook thing. Someone was giving me clothes and I was like, sure, I'll take them mainly for myself. I kept most of it for myself. Um, but yeah, it didn't, it didn't fit me right. Like my, my boobs didn't fit in it, which is not uncommon. Speaking of them coming out right now. Um, so I was like, whatever, I'll just sell it. And I was able to actually find the stock photo, which was what made me want to sell it. I was like, okay, maybe it'll sell better. Cause it's one of those tops that like, the hanger doesn't do it justice it is a really cute top but it is made for small boobs so but yeah it sold someone sent me no i sent out an, i had it listed for 25 dollars um and i my posture va sends out automatic 10 per 10 percent 15 percent something like that offers um after like 10 minutes and so uh, so i sent an offer of 21 dollars and a dollar fifty discount of shipping and someone purchased it so after fees and everything i probably made about 15 bucks and that was free to me so yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Interesting sale. Um, oh, another interesting sale. I had some interesting sales to see. Um, is this pair of RSQ jeans. RSQ sold at Tilly's, if you don't know, but it's actually a junior's brand. So this is size seven, but it's the Brooklyn slouch. So it's like a cropped boyfriend jean almost, and it's distressed light wash. Um, I got these at Dollar Days probably about like six months ago. Um, and I've relisted them a couple times, and I actually relisted them the day before they sold. Sometimes that stuff happens so weirdly. Like, it's just so random. I think you just happen to catch the person at the right time that's searching the just in category or something um but yeah i sent i had them listed at 35 sent out the automatic offer of 31 dollars with a dollar 50 discounted shipping and it sold for 31 dollars they probably retailed for less than that i mean they retail at like 40 dollars but tilly's always has like deals where you can get like three for 60 dollars or something like that so you can get it for like 20 bucks each i used to buy them that's how i know um but yeah so i probably made like 25 bucks on that so random but I'll take it. Not something I was expecting to sell like that. Oh, I know I didn't pull that yet. That's okay. Um, okay, let's do let's do this one. This is the undisclosed platform. Um, these sold. These are these torrid Mickey shorts. I just bought these, so these actually did sell um, from the 50 by Friday. I listed them yesterday. No, I listed them the day before yesterday. I listed them on Monday, and they sold yesterday. Um, they sold for twenty seven dollars, and the platform took like three dollars, I think. And so I made like twenty five bucks on these, and I actually got these from Dollar Day and the haul's not even out yet um <laughs> that i hauled them i'm i have like i bulk film so my hauls are like i film all at once and then i just like lay them out um yeah so these sold it was weird i made like 24 bucks on them after fees and costs are good i knew they would sell quick because they're torrid and they're torrid disneyland and torrid has like a cult following if y'all don't know they do um really good bread and butter brand 
So yeah, I was very happy about that. I was very surprised. I was not expecting that. Again, a lot of weird sales this week that I was like, did not see coming. It was very odd. Um, yeah, so that's that. Okay, next up, I need to grab a box. I don't think this is gonna fit. I've had this lot, right? Um, is this J. Crew hoodie? I thought this was super cute and it like feels brand new. I got this from a garage, garage show, question mark? I'm not positive. Um, but I know I didn't spend like over a dollar for it. It was either a dollar or less. So um, yeah, this is a men's hoodie, but it was super comfy and soft. I was pretty psyched, you know, made a little over $20 on this and it sold pretty quickly. I listed this like less than a month ago, I think. Yeah, I think I listed it like right around Christmas actually. So probably exactly a month. How's everyone else feeling? I'm just like, meh. But like, I'm here, I'm present, you know? Sorry I'm not my like usual bubbly self. I wish I could be more bubbly for you. But I do want to get out the update video and I was like, y'all like the what's sold. So I had some extra time. I figured, oh my gosh, the sticky thingy <sighs> is stuck. I got it. <laughs> um, so I was like, you know what, why not? And I was, I'm listening to an audiobook for class right now. Um, Cause I have a paper day tomorrow um on this book and i haven't finished it and i hate reading like i despise reading with a passion so i was like okay i'll listen to the audiobook but it's like 12 hours long and i didn't start it until like monday so i needed a break <laughs> i've been listening to it like every morning and night so yeah i needed a break and i was like why not film okay that one's done okay next up is like a, a special special one because it's sold to somebody i know not a viewer i'll explain but i actually showed this in my i'm gonna take this out just because i want to wrap it nicely um i showed this in like the sars challenge video if y'all watch that of something that i wish had sold and hadn't um it's this victoria's secret sherpa it's new with tags i got this from a friend and i bought how i bought her out like of her closet and i ended up paying like four dollars per item which was a little much but she's a friend so i was like okay i'll do it um yeah, so I paid four dollars for it and somebody that I actually used to work out with in a boot camp. I used to do boot camp with her. Yeah, I used to do like a it was like an all women's boot camp with her and she ended up following my business account. Um and she actually asked me for some advice on like how to sell her stuff. Um she asked me if I wanted to sell it and I just politely declined because it was like, well maybe and gap stuff. I was like she wanted to do like commission and I don't really do consignment, especially not on items like that. Um if it was like Gucci or Louis Vuitton I might rethink that, but um it wasn't like, you know, high dollar thing. So I you know, I offered to like pay her like a dollar per item and I just buy it off of her and she's like, no. I'm like, alright, that's fine. Um, but yeah, so I just politely declined and it was fine. She wasn't like bent over. This is not what I thought it was. This is a shoe box. Y'all, this is how my morning is feeling. Um, got him. Um, so yeah. So and then she, the other day, like, reached out to me randomly and was like, hey, I tried to buy your Victoria's Secret Sherpa and it didn't work. Like, I don't know what happened. And so I was like, oh, okay, like, on Poshmark. She's like, yeah. And I explained how to do it. And then she, she actually ended up using my link to sign up for Poshmark. So, because she made a sale for me, I also make $10 in credit um, once that clears because I referred her or whatever. Um, so that was super cool. So not only did she buy this for me, but, um, yeah, so she ended up sending me an offer of $40, which I probably would have given it to her for less if she had asked, um, just because, yeah, I don't really pay four bucks for it. Um, and, you know, she's a good friend of the family. I mean, I don't really know her that well. I worked out with her for a summer. I don't know her last name even. Um, actually, I think I did. But, yeah. So, that's sold. Um, so because she's, like, a friend and stuff, and she was really sweet about it and willing to support me, I do like to kind of, you know, especially on the first time buying. Like, once you buy something for me, like, four times, I probably won't, like, <laughs> have it all for you because I'm like, you know I love you. And you know I'm busy. But, yeah, on the first time you buy something, I'm like, you get the prettiest packaging. Um, so yeah, so I did that, and then, so I made, after fees, I made, like, 32 on this, and then after my house of goods, I ended up making, like, 28, which is fine and dandy for me. That's usually what my sales end up being around, so, anywhere from, like, 20 to 25, actually, usually. So, yeah, this isn't gonna fit quite like I wanted it to, but that's okay. We're gonna make it work with my very old tape. I think this tape is, like, two years old. I'm surprised it's still sticky. It's literally been in here for so long. <laughs> like honestly um i'm gonna put a little thank you sticker and I'll, I'll also write her a little note not like a long thing i know some of you like write notes for like every package and i am happy for you and i'm glad that that gives you joy it does not bring me joy and it takes a lot of stinking time so He's on the phone with customer service of somewhere that's what it sounds like and he is not a happy camper i mean based on his conversation i don't think i'd be a happy camper either
he is knowing. He is not happy. There's my cute little note. And then I'll put my business card in there in case she needs to email me or anything. Um, yeah, and so we'll pop that in there. I don't have any like free gifty things. I just kind of, I get the job done. I don't like overdo it. Um, yeah, so that's that. I know someone, someone commented on my last video. I can't remember your name, I'm so sorry. Um, asking like, is that all you do for packaging? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, you still make sales? I'm like, yeah. Um, don't believe the myths that you have to write a thank you note and happy all the time. I mean, I just bought, what did I, I just bought from Aerie, American Eagle. I didn't get no thank you note. They sent me an invoice, a piece of paper with an invoice on it. And then they threw stuff in a bag and sent it to me. Like, it's not that deep. Like <laughs> when you buy from retailers, they don't send you thank you notes. Um, so yeah, I mean, I think do it, people do it to like retain, you know, retain buyers and stuff. I, I get that, but I just don't, I don't think it's really that effective personally. And time is money, so I'm not gonna waste time doing that. Um, I'm gonna pause really quick because I need to go find this sale to show you. Okay, and we're back. That took way too much time. I had to like take everything out of the bag to find this thing, but that's okay because it ended up working out. Oops, I accidentally clicked. No! The man calmed down in case anyone was wondering. Um, he's good now. Um, these sold for not what I wanted them to, but that's okay. <laughs> these are a pair of American Eagle shorts. Chloe, are these shorts? Do these look like shorts to you? Okay. They are a button fly. Super cute. They are the boy crop. Um, the newer style is trying to do better, but these are not new. These were from 2013. Yeah, so I don't really always pick up the older styles, but I thought these were really cute, which is why I picked them up. But they, I listed these in summer, expecting them to sell in summer, and they sold in the dead of winter. But I sent like a pretty gnarly offer, and someone countered at $22. So I took it. I was like, whatever, I'll just get them. Excuse me, sorry, I'll just get them out. I got these in my honey hole for $3.25. So after fees, cost of goods, so that's like $7. Um, so I made like 15 bucks on these, which isn't terrible. Um, I'll take it, but I was hoping these would sell for a little more. But since they were older, they were from 2013, they were the older tag, it makes sense. Um, they're not a newer style, you know, they're not the curvy high rise, they're not the, you know, yada yada. I think the style just like didn't do well for old, old Navy, American Eagle in general because it was not continued the next year. <laughs> you can tell by like what did well for them by what is like regularly continued. Like the super high rise jigging has been in for years. The curvy high rise jigging in for years. The curvy kick boot in for years. Like the artist crop was there for years. Like the boy crop, I'm pretty sure it was one season. I don't think it did well. So that would be why it didn't sell. There you go. And that's that. I have one more sale, but I realized it's at home because I was gonna sell it on the auction if it didn't sell. But I think I showed you in the last short, if you didn't see it, it was the Victoria's Secret like skirt. And that also sold during the 50 by Friday. I listed that on Monday and it sold Monday night. Pretty swag. So yeah, that's all I have. That wasn't a truck. That was someone literally pulling a cart down the road of the storage unit. So that's why that's so loud. And it's the angry guy. He had a big scowl on his face. Poor guy, he's having a rough morning. I understand. Um, that's all. As always, y'all, stay gold. Love you.